We are happy to be joined by former two division champion BJ Penn. BJ, thank you so much for the time. And I want to get right to it. Your last fight was in October of 2011. What have you been doing since we last saw you inside of the Octagon? I've just been hanging out, uh, spending time with my family, taking it easy, enjoying life, and, uh, and te teaching martial arts. I've always been teaching jujitsu. But that's about it. Just, uh, just really enjoying my life. Has becoming a father changed the way you approach fighting? You know, I, I, don't, I don't use my kids for motivation to fight, but I, uh, you know, it, it does, it, it affects you. It definitely affected me uh, when uh, my first daughter was born. Uh, I, it made me uh, more nervous and, and more concerned about uh, different things. But as time goes on, you know, the older they get, the more I, I want to punch someone in the face. So that's all good, I guess. Now, we know you brought in numerous world-class competitors for this training camp. What role did the Mendez brothers play? I wanted uh, to bring in the Mendez brothers to really help me sharpen up my submissions, to give me some good, uh, some new looks, you know. Um, Jiu-Jitsu is um, definitely my background, but, uh, you know, it, it's been uh, 12, 13 years since uh, I've been a world Jiu-Jitsu champion, and everything gets better, everything evolves, so, you know, uh, they, they, they had a lot to show me. Some people feel that Rory is going to have his way with you. Do you like being the underdog? I love being the underdog in this fight. Uh, actually, I, I, I never like to be the favorite. I don't like to be going into a fight and people are like, oh, you got this, it's going to be easy. I don't like that. You know, I, I like proving people wrong. What are your concerns in this fight? Uh, besides the obvious of getting hurt or injured, what concerns do you have about this fight with Rory McDonald? Yeah, uh, without a doubt, a fight is uh, not, it, it, it's not what you want it to be. It simply is, and, and uh, there, there's always uh, any risk, you know, go, going into any type of uh, fight like this, uh, such as life. But, uh, you know, as far as that goes, I, I've been in this situation many times, and uh, it's nothing new. You know, I, I really think that my experience is going to play off come Saturday night. Now, we can see by your physical appearance that you have done a lot of work for this fight. Is there such thing as a perfect training camp? I don't believe there is a perfect training camp. I think you try to let things go as good as they can. Uh, but fortunately for us, everything just happened organically for us. Uh, the, the coaches who got involved, the sparring partners who got involved, everything just worked out to, uh, to just being just the right situation in all areas. So, you know, this is as, as close to perfect as you can get, but I really do not believe there's a perfect training camp. One of the pound for pound kings, Anderson Silva, calls you the best. How does that make you feel? Uh, that's just amazing, you know, Anderson, he, uh, I was, uh, after my, uh, my, uh, my second fight with Frankie Edgar and I was flying home and Anderson was like, come on BJ, you got to change a lot of things, you know, when, when I first started training, I told my father, the guy I want to be like is BJ Penn, and, uh, and, you know, and he gives me all these uplifting words and all these, uh, saying all these uh, great things about me, and it's just, it's amazing, you know, for me, it's, it's like, what can I do next, what can I do next, so I guess I don't really get to sit back and, think about you know uh, how much I mean to, to these guys or to the sport but when you're in the middle of it you have no clue you're just trying to improve and achieve new things. BJ and McDonald's two highest profile fights against Carlos Condit and Nathan Diaz he lost by TKO and won and won a decision against a man who's fighting in lightweight division. Is the hype around this kid warranted in your opinion? I, I think so. I think, I think the hype around uh, Rory is warranted. I, I think uh, he's the real deal without a doubt. And he's been in the ring with uh, some top contenders. Uh, yeah, I, I, I give him that. His, his hype is warranted. Where do you think a victory over the TriStar fighter puts you in the class? Uh, I, I think, I think uh, the number one thing it will do for me will get me back on a, on a winning streak. You know, I mean, not a streak, but uh, it will get me back in the winning column. And, uh, and, and up, up to that, I don't know where it's going to put me. I think Dana White's going to have to sit down and figure all that stuff out. You have mentioned Anderson Silva and his philosophy of not overtraining. Did you ensure that you had the right balance when preparing for this battle? Yes, I did. I, I feel very well prepared. I feel that has always been uh, my Achilles heel. Everybody says, oh, you don't train enough. I said, no, no, I train too much. You know, I, I'm sure they were right sometimes, and I'm sure I was right sometimes. And I made sure to keep the balance on this one. And it's, it's not really that I made sure. It's that I got along with my coaches. You know, it's the communication. And everybody's all, BJ's got these yes men and this and that. But you don't have any yes men when there's no communication in the first place. Thanks again for the time, BJ. And best of luck to you on Saturday night. 
Thank you for having me on.